I've never worked hard on the image in my mind of a, a, a young man standing on a beach holding a, a spear and he was incredibly angry. And this, this was about, I don't know, five, five years ago at least. Uh, and, and I wondered why. And over the next few weeks, while I was working on other things, bits of the story kept coming in. And uh, there had been a terrible disaster. A, uh, a tidal wave, as we used to call them in the old days, had, had hit his island, which was going to be somewhere in the Pacific. And everyone he knew had been killed. And for some reason, I didn't know at that time, he hadn't been on the island and he had been he had been um, the only one saved, saved in order to come back to bury the bodies of everyone or most of the people he had ever known. Uh, which is, a, and then I thought, and this is a children's book. This has to be a children's book. It's going to a children's book starting with a disaster, and then there, there is the, sh the ship that has been washed up. Uh, by the tidal wave that kills all these people, and there is one one survivor, and she is a, a Victorian girl of you know fairly high-born rank, and a lot of the book is about the dynamic between this Victorian girl who thinks that that she is uh, naked if she is wearing fewer than four garments underneath her dress, uh, and a boy who sometimes wears a loincloth if he remembers to put it on. I wasn't thinking of writing it at that time because I was working on another book and then the big Asian tsunami hit and I thought no this is not going to be a good time to do it. Regrettably the, the 21st century is not the only century to have been beset by disaster and of course I had in mind Krakatoa which was certainly a disaster in its own right and in fact during Krakatoa among many other kind of fairly strange things um, a ship was driven, I think, about uh, five kilometres inland by the force of the wave, and that, that had been one of the triggers in my mind. In fact, there, when I thought about it, there were lots of things floating around in whatever passes for a filing cabinet in my brain, which somehow had all gravitated together to become nation without me actually being very conscious of it. And so a couple of years went by and then the, the pressure to write it was too great. It was actually filling my head. I had to get this damn book down on the page. I look back on it with great affection and every time I look at it I think I could improve it. And the book tended to escape rather than get published. Um, but I hope everybody enjoys it.